Hello everyone. Since the start of this year, all of us have been eagerly waiting for the all program express entry draws to be conducted. It won't be wrong to say that all those belonging to federal skilled worker category have already lost their patience and since last couple of months those belonging to CEC category are experiencing similar frustration as well. Although until last week we didn't hear anything officially from IRCC but finally we got to know the real reason why they haven't conducted the all program draws until now. Just to set the expectations right, through this video we won't get to know when they would conduct the all program draws but yes because now we know the reason why we can certainly try to get an idea about it and then we can continue the guessing game once again. So let's get started. Okay, so to answer this question I would give the reference to this website cicnews.com and there is an article that was published last week which says that IRCC looking to tackle express entry backlogs before resuming FSWP and CEC invitations. And they've given the reference to an internal briefing memo. So let's quickly check out that. So this gives me confidence that yes, that article is correct. This is certainly a memo from IRCC. So we can trust this one for sure. So let's quickly check out the background that they've mentioned here. They've mentioned that as travel restrictions inhibited the processing of overseas economic applications, the department instituted a pause on FSW invitations beginning in December 2020. During this time, they pursued a strategy of aggressively inviting CEC candidates within Express Entry and created a TR to PR pathway in an effort to support 2021 admissions. This strategy led to significant inventory growth, creating a backlog of applications and processing times in excess of the service standards for all economic categories. Then after that, the second point is also very interesting. They said that the number of Express Entry invitations issued year to date has almost doubled compared to this time last year. They've mentioned that the FHS inventory has grown to 116,000 persons to achieve the six month service standard across FHS line of business. This inventory should be reduced by more than a half. So this is a point here which is being highlighted in that article of CICnews.com. In the third point also they have highlighted how their inventory has grown because of the Afghanistan resettlement objectives Then after the background coming to the current status. So it seems that this memorandum is from somewhere in the start of September. They have mentioned here that the department normally conducts express entry draws of invitations on a bi-weekly basis however the department conducted a PNP round. On September 1st, the department chose not to perform a round of invitations for FHS that week. And after that, they've mentioned the next steps. The operations sector will be conducting a PNP round of invitations on Wednesday, September 15th and CEC round of 2000 applicants by September 16th. And this is exactly what happened on September 14th. They conducted a CEC draw and issued 2000 invitations. But after that, they haven't conducted any CEC draw only PNP draws have been conducted. Now after that they have mentioned here that the department will return to you in November 2021 with a plan for FHS intake throughout the remainder of 2021 and early 2022. But we don't have that memorandum in public domain so we don't exactly know what was presented there. But today we had another article published in the same website which provides some more information on the application processing on the numbers. It says that RCC is finalizing over 14,000 CEC applications and under 600 FSWP applications per month. Let's quickly scroll down to the section which will interest you the most. They have given some numbers here as well and highlighted some points that, that RCC actually got off to a slow start, finalizing somewhere between 7,000 to 10,000 applications in the first half of this year but now they are finalizing 16 to around 19,000 applications every month which means that they have certainly speeded up the process of finalizing these requirements. There was a very astonishing information that came in last month that RCC has a backlog of around 1.8 million permanent and temporary residence applications and of course most of these would be temporary residence applications as it mentions here that this includes just under 100,000 express entry applications as of October 27th. Assuming RCC maintains its current pace it will have processed all of the sum 48,000 CEC applications 
remaining by January 2022, which is definitely a great sign. And yes, if this strategy is still true, if they haven't deviated from this strategy, then we can definitely expect the all program draws maybe in the early 2022. Now again, this is just a guess based on these facts that we have here. But even this guess has got a lot of assumptions. And of course, this year, RCC has surprised us a lot. So I personally feel that we can expect the all program draws getting resumed in the early months of 2022. Now, of course, there are other factors like the Omicron variant of the COVID-19 virus and its impacts. So it would definitely be very interesting to see how the condition unfolds in the upcoming weeks and how does that factor actually affect the express entry draws whatever happens i'll definitely update you so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video thanks again